Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make the fluffiest, the softest, the cheesiest garlic bread breadsticks. Call them what you want. These are amazing, so fluffy, mind-blowing. These require no extra steps, no, no hardness here, you guys. Everything here is super simple. This literally feels like a cloud. As you can see, this is how pillowy soft it is you will love this recipe so without any further ado let's go so we're of course we're going to start by blooming our yeast add to warm milk add in your yeast dry yeast and sugar along with your olive oil of course all the ingredients will be down below in the description box if you're looking for them look down below before you comment that there are no ingredient measurements so I'm just going to mix the yeast mixture and set it aside. If you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe down below. I post new videos every week. Moving on, I'm going to grab my bowl and I'm gonna add in about four cups of AP flour, which is a word I'm gonna be using a lot, but coat, quote, ugh. I was about to say quote quote um but that ap means all-purpose flour if you don't know that i'm gonna tell you that right now anyways moving on we are going to be generous with the garlic powder okay you guys if you don't like garlic click out of this video because this video is all about garlic add about one tablespoon of garlic powder be generous and a teaspoon of salt the salt really depends on your liking but be generous on the garlic because i promise you it is delicious that's how the yeast should look after you let it sit. It should, um, that's how we know it's alive. And then to my flour, I'm going to add in, uh, what's it called? Uh, add in my yeast mixture and just mix it up with my spatula. It might look a little bit dry, but after you knead it, um, it will become super soft. You just have to go in with your hands, but if yours is too dry, go ahead and add some water or melted butter. It really depends on the way you need it. Um, this is also like a no stand mixer, no mixer recipe. So I am only going to be using my hands and I'm showing you how to use it. But if you um, don't have a stand mixer or electric hand mixer, you can make this, no excuses. You have to make this. Anyways, after kneading it, I got a really soft dough. I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap, um, put a, spread a little bit of olive oil onto the top, cover it with plastic wrap and let it rise for two hours. If you're in a hurry or you just wanna get this over with, just take your bowl full of your um, dough and put it in a, a warm oven, which will really help it rise faster. So here's my dough after it doubled in size. As you can see, it is super soft and it was actually so fun to play with. So I always, I love like deflating the dough after um, it inflates, it's just so fun. So moving on, we will be making our garlic mixture. Add in a little bit of butter, garlic powder, salt and oregano. Um, uh, and put it in the microwave. Moving on, grab your dough. You're just going to split it in half because this dough makes two breads or you can make a huge one, but I don't re recommend that because you'll just eat it faster. Uh, make two. So with half of my dough, I'm just going to spread it out really well. And to my butter mixture, Oh God, with a pastry brush, just kind of just brush it. Be generous with this because this is the one that brings out the garlic flavor. It's too delicious. Like use as much as you can without using too much, if that makes any sense. Anyways, then you're going to sprinkle your cheese. I added a lot more because cheese is delicious. Everybody likes cheese. You can use any type of cheese blend. You can use Parmesan, mozzarella, any type of cheese you want. And just close the pockets up. If you want it to be perfect, I did that off camera. Grab a pizza cutter and just cut off the sides and add that into your, um, 
thing. I had some extra scraps, so I just put that there. And then you're gonna let it rise for a few, um, about 20 minutes. Let it rise for 20 minutes. And then with a cookie cutter, whatever you want, why did I just say cookie cutter? With a pizza cutter, make your own designs. Uh, both of them have different designs. They will rise a lot in the oven, so make sure you really indent those designs. And with that butter mixture, just brush some on to the top and a preheated oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or uh, 200 degrees Celsius. You will bake it for 10 minutes uh, like that, but then you're gonna see that the bottom is cooked. So put broil at 350 degrees for the top to become uh, brown. Uh, with the extra scraps, I also made some breadsticks and they were also delicious. And yeah, you guys really have to make this recipe. Just by the screen that you're looking at right now, you can tell that this is the softest thing ever. It literally tastes like a savory croissant, you could say. Um, when it cools down, if you wanna eat it for another day, just pop it in the toaster and it will become like a croissant. It's super delicious, super fluffy, super soft. It literally feels like a pillow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy. Comment down below if you ever make this.